to everyone. I'm Jim Johnson, and to assist me with today's match commentary, I'm sitting next to that famous ex-player, Bob Biffin. Yeah, here I am, Jim. Well, I hope you're settled in and ready for the match. Yes, I think I'll just slip out and get myself a small beverage before the kickoff. When you look at the difference between the sides, you have to wonder how many players will finish this match. They should all finish it, but in what state? That's the point. And they're off! Blood Bowl is reputedly the toughest of all sports. Uh, so they say, but it really only comes down to taking a few hits. Blood Bowl players are getting more like their Albion League cousins every day. That wasn't a light touch that put him down, Jim. That was a solid chop to the back of the neck. As soon as he throws his first punch, we know the opponent will be out for lunch. They can start to move forward. flesh to some it's a beautiful sight bob don't forget the smell jim oh really thanks for reminding me i didn't notice that pungent acrid stench of death and bile god there
Some wood elves have recently put in an official request that the long pass be declared an art form. Well, it's an art form they definitely master. This player was really strong. Do you think they have some troll blood in them? Mm, could be. Or maybe his opponent shouldn't speak that way about the family. Sleep. Little baby gets his medicine and he's having a little nap. The other day, someone told me that the equivalent of 60 Blood Bowl pictures are cut down in the Elven Forest every minute. Totally crazy. The environmental impact of the sport is obviously an issue these days. and anybody can wake up instantly. Like there was some bad blood between those two, eh, Bob? Yeah, Jim. Something to do with swapped body parts. He's got the ball! Oh. I doubt that he'll be taking any further part in the match. No, I'd say that the apothecary had his work cut out for him. <laughs> in the early days, the war dancers were considered more like cheerleaders than real players. The match between the Athlon Avengers and Auckland Raiders changed all that. The Orcs, who were tired of the rituals, rushed at the Elvin war dancers, who, without batting an eyelid, kept on dancing, but still managed to send seven Raider players to hospital. And since then, every team wants one. A 
recent medical report stated that cerebral hemorrhages were less frequent in Blood Bowl players. Amazing when you come to think of it. Not really, when you consider that brains are also less frequent. A mouthful of knuckle, and then a mouthful of dirt! Yeah, he went down face first. <laughs> They're getting dangerously close to the end zone. about that. Full-blooded, but perfectly legal. Oh, of course. He's the only elf freelance who offers his service to every elven race. Oh, he's a stranger. Rumor has it that he's mutated. Stranger still. I think he's 
singing him a lullaby. Did you know one of the most unsportsmanlike Nurgle teams out there is the Decayed Renegade? Oh, yeah, Jim. And they have a large appetite for foul play. Let's hope for some of that action today, Bob. Indeed, Jim. <laughs> wow. I can tell you straight, that hurts. Send him down for a chat with the Astro Granite. This job is a lot cheaper than a plastic surgeon. I don't know if he planned it, but it won't do him any harm in the looks of the park. Did you know the Nurgle Rotters went missing in the Sea of Ice in 88? That's right, Bob. They drifted for years. All the players frozen stiff in huge blocks of ice. Until some local fishermen boarded the vessel and brought it southward. Once defrosted, they were quickly back in business. That's right, Bob. By the time the boat arrived back to shore, the crew had become devoted fans, and the ship's cat transformed into a beast of Nurgle. It looks like nothing can stop the Nurgle's rotters. Yes! It's a great spectacle, Bob! The players are ready. Oh, no, another one who actually plays the ball. <laughs> An inch perfect pass. Not often you see that.
just look at the fans. They're red hot. A majority of supporters reckon that the league should take measures to prevent the small minority of peaceful fans from watching a match from the terraces. They've got a point. If they don't want to join in the fun, they might as well stay home and watch it on cable vision. That's what happens when a pro crosses an amateur. Yes, splodge. changing rooms for the halftime interview. Yes, and I'm sure that the operating tables and cat gut are ready to welcome them. The ball's in play. Someone has just passed me some surprising news. Jordel Fresh Breeze has just been intercepted by a dwarf. What? Uh, oh, sorry. I got the two lines mixed up. That did sound a little unbelievable. on the nose. Sure was, Jim. It's broken now. <laughs> much about that full-blooded but perfectly legal in the early days the war dancers were considered more like cheerleaders than real players the match between the athlon avengers and auckland raiders changed all that the orcs who were tired of the rituals rushed to the elvin war dancers who without batting an eyelid kept on dancing but still managed to send seven raider players to hospital and since then every team wants one Rather generously. That player 
are seeing stars now. Funny for someone that wasn't really that bright. <laughs> so widespread that the Referees Guild has set up rules concerning where, when, and how one can accept a bribe. Under an agreement signed last season, the clubs are not allowed to offer less than the going rate. It seems this player does all the talking with the fists. And they clearly know how to get heard. and then pow, right in the face. Wizards have not always been able to cast spells safely from behind the sidelines. Were you playing at the time in an Albion League, a second division that prohibited spell casting from off the pitch? Oh yes, they were great times. I remember fans traveling to games just to see how well Wizards stood up to the mad charge of a raving Blood Bowl star. The noise created by a sizzling fireball followed by the characteristic sound of the snap of Wizard's neck. Some cute little elf beauties are selling big moot sandwiches in the stands. Hey, I'm off to get one. I'll be back in five minutes. And so now you like big moot sandwiches? Ah, no way! A little elf Yeah.
toddler's muzzle. He'll have a bit of trouble blowing his nose from now on. into the game rules. The bench seems to be in two minds about what to do about the player lying prone on the pitch. Yeah, they don't know whether to send on a stretcher or a coffee. Animals are littered with the stories of teams who've gone bust with crippling debts. And with the cost of doping and bribery on the rise, the problem won't be going away. What finish! What style! What perfection! What a hammer blow! Supporters of the Year Award. Fully merited from what I've seen.
on with a good reason to go see the apothecary? Yep, looks like he's gonna need a good one. They definitely master. physical as this, the player is really in the right place. Exactly. It's really ugly. Today's insight comes from Heine Schnibbel, coach and owner of the Goblin Lowdown Rats team. In yesterday's Spike magazine, he said that Blood Bowl was like war. No winners, just survivors. Oh, that's deep. Pops keeps his team's position in the rankings. up a real mixed bag of the team. Like the motley horn is made up of a bunch of misfits. Yeah, can't be easy to coach those cast-offs every day of the week. in motion. What we'd like to see more, more often. often. That reminds me of when I took drift events in the 91 final against Reitman. Oh yeah, you kneecapped him. Now there's one that won't be coming back in a hurry. Oh, he swatted him like a fly. <laughs> More like punched him square in the face, like a fly. Incoming! Well, 
It is a violent sport. The referee's guild has decided to hire a bodyguard for each game. Another brilliant idea. And just how effective will one bodyguard be against the stadium for the supporters? True. Could be a bit one side. Touchdown supporters are winning in their sales. The opposition will have to get out the great shot if they don't want to see them disappear over the horizon. And we're off! The ball is in his hands! Win, lose, or draw. Doesn't really matter when you see a match like that. That's reflected in the excellent mark it received. Blood, arms ripped off, broken teeth, broken bones, and what they end up with. A miserable defeat for a team that had all the cards in hand to win this match. A major disappointment after a match in which they had the majority of possession. So many missed chances, which just goes to show that the ball is not the key to the game. They would have been better off to take care of the opposition. He was the best player out there, but on his own, he could not deliver a win. Yeah, the coach is going to have to strengthen his lineup. They had them under pressure for the whole of the match, and I reckon I could count the incursions out of their own half on the fingers of one hand. You can pick up these enhancements wherever you want, anywhere, and they've got none here for this match. What is this sport coming to? Was the ref watching the same match as us? I mean, I saw several incidents that merited a sending off. Perhaps he was enjoying the spectacle. 